Welcome to Navidad de Trinidad, Trini Christmas, and we're joined now by Miss Alicia Jagasa. I mean, she's been in the parent fraternity for so many years. She's has a load of experience, and she's just an amazing person. And Tia Alicia, as I affectionately call her, she is a member, a found one of the main members of the Los Alumnos de San Juan parent group, and she just performed here at the Falls at West Mall. And Tia Alicia, how are you? I am blessed, and I'm so happy to be in this interview with you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for saying yes. Just tell the people what is our brief foundation or history on Parang music itself. Well, the Parang music uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, there are different schools of thought as to how the Parang originated, how it came to Trinidad and Tobago. But the one that we tend to gravitate to is the Venezuelan influence because of how the proximity to Venezuela we are. So you would have found that, you know, that exchange constantly took place. And you, found, you find that a lot of the songs that we sing are Venezuelan parang songs first, you know. So we kind of go towards that as opposed to the Spain and, you know. Right. Um, but in the foundations, after we would have learned from what was brought here to us, we would have taken the music and put the, oh, our own trini. Yes. Calypso and Soka and mix it up to have our unique parang. Now remember it is called paranda out there. Okay. In Trinidad we call it parang because the parang is just unique to us. The rhythm is just so much different from but similar. So we just got a brief history lesson and and, and tell you say oh, Ms. Jagger, sir, um tell us about Los Alumnos de San Juan group, just a brief history and what's next for the for, for the band coming out of COVID. Well Los Alumnos de San Juan is celebrating 36 years this year. 36 years of existence, so you know. That's quite uh, 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 an accomplishment for a band to stay together that long. And uh, we, coming out of COVID, yes, it was a difficult season, but we were still able to spread the message of what Parang is supposed to spread, which is the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we are happy to be able to now do that in a more free and more open and to the public and to touch more hearts.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, Los Alumnos de San Juan is one of the premier parang performing groups in Trinidad and Tobago, and they are very busy this season because they came from a gig, they came here at, at, at the Falls of Westmore and mash up the place, and now they're going to another show. So, Aunt Elisa, thank you so much for taking the time, and I wish you the best and a merry, merry Christmas, and I hope to see you very soon next year. Thank you so much. Feliz Navidad y prospero año a toda la gente.